Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hasha Ali Khan. Last video, four problems I have explained on binomial distribution. In this video, another four problems I'm going to explain you five, six, seven, eight. So if you want the perfect knowledge, perfect command on this topic of binomial distribution, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Don't skip in between and don't join in between. Have some patience. Keep a notebook calculator beside you. And when I give the lecture, immediately write it down. If you have not watched the last video, go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject statistics for management. Select the video of binomial distribution problems. Watch the first video, be clear regarding the concept, the formula, how to calculate the probability according to binomial law. Then you come to this video. So before starting the fifth <clears throat> problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problem. <clears throat> Take the screenshot of the points which I have written. Then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the problem number five. During a cold epidemic in a factory, the chance of workers catching a cold is 10%. So in a particular factory, the probability that the worker will catch the cold is 10%. And what is the probability that out of five workers, three or more will catch the cold? So first of all, we'll denote P is equal to probability that the worker will catch the cold. So what is the probability given? 10%. So I'll write down here, P is equal to probability of catching cold, 10%. 10% means 10 by 100, 0.1. And Q is equal to 1 minus P, 1 minus 0.1 is 0.9. The total number of workers in the factory are 5. So N is equal to number of workers 5. Since P remains constant, that means the probability of the catching cold is constant for every worker. For every worker, probability is 10% of catching the cold. It will not change. And N is finite. We have fixed number of workers. The fixed number are 5. So we apply binomial probability law. According to binomial probability law, P of R is equal to NCR, P to the power of R into Q to the power of N minus R. Now N, N is how much here? 5. So 5 CR P. P is 0.1. So 0.1 to the power of R. Q is 0 0.9. 0 0.9 to the power of 5 minus R. This is the formula we are going to use to find out the required probability. The required probability is what is the probability of 3 or more? 3 or more means 3, 4, 5. Because maximum 5 workers are there. Not more than 5. So what is the probability that three or more workers will catch the cold? That is the problem. So probability that three or more will catch the cold, R is greater than or equal to three. Three or greater than or equal to three. Greater than means four, five. So three, four, five. So P of R greater than or equal to three is P of three plus P of four plus P of five. So individually separately we have to calculate P of three. So 5C3, 0 0.1, P value is 0 0.1 to the power of 3, Q is 0 0.9 to the power of 5 minus 3. So 5C3 means 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 5 minus 3 factorial. 0 0.1 Q into 0 0.9, 5 minus 3 is 2. Now we simplify, 5 into 4 into 3 factorial, because denominator we have 3 factorial, I'm stopping at 3 factorial. Now 3 factorial, 3 factorial will get cancelled. So 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4. So finally 5 2s are 10. Then 0 0.1 cube, you will get 0 0.001. 0 0.9 square, you will get 0 0.81. Now multiply, will get P of 3, 0 0.0081. So 1, we got P of 3. Similarly, we have to calculate P of 4. <coughs> P of 4. 5C4, P to the power of 4. P is 0.1. Q to the power of 5 minus 4, 0 0.9 to the power of 5 minus 4. So 5C4 means 5 factorial divided by 4 factorial, 5 minus 4 factorial, into 0.1 to the power of 4, into 0.9 to the power of 1, 5 minus 4 is 1. 
simplify denominator we have 4 factorial so numerator also will stop at 4 5 into 4 factorial this 4 factorial and 4 factorial will get cancelled 5 minus 4 is 1 1 factorial always equal to 1 write it down it's a mathematical formula rule that <coughs> 1 factorial always equal to 1 so this 4 this 4 will get cancelled 5 means 0.1 to the power of 4 you will get 0 0.001 0 0.9 to the power of 1 is 0.9 only now multiply you will get p of 4 0 0.0045 so we got p of 3 we, have, we got p of 4 finally we will calculate p of 5 p of 5 means 5c5 5 5. 0.1 to the power of 5 0.9 to the power of 5 minus 5 in the previous video I already told you 5c5 always equal to 1 4c4 1 10 c 10 1 so always ncm is equal to 1 so 5 c 5 1 0.5 to the power of 5 5 times if you multiply 0.1 then you'll get point to triple uh, four zeros one point nine to the power of 5 minus 5 5 minus 5 is 0 anything raised to, to the power of 0 is equal to 1 so final p of 5 is equal to point double zero double zero one we got p of 3, we got p of 4, we got p of 5. Simply substitute. p of r greater than or equal to 3 is equal to p of 3 plus p of 4 plus p of 5. p of 3, 0 0.0081. p of 4, 0 0.0045. p of 5, 0 0.00001. Add up, you get 0 0.00856. So 0 0.00856 is the probability that 3 or more workers will catch the cold. That's it. This is the end of problem number 5. Now, problem number 6. <clears throat> if on an average, 8 ships out of 10 arrive safely at port. On a seaport, ships are arriving. So, according to experience, out of 10 ships arriving, 8 ships will reach safely. Right? So, probability that a ship will reach safely is 8 by 10. 8 by 10 means 0.8. Find the mean and standard deviation of the number of ships arriving safely out of a total of 1600 ships. The total number of ships arriving are 1600, that is n. So here p is equal to probability that a ship arrives safely. 8 by 10, 0.8. <coughs> n is equal to number of ships arriving, 1600. Now, finally we have to find out what is a mean and standard deviation according to binomial probability law now binomial probability law the mean and standard deviation are the formula mean is equal to np and standard deviation is equal to npq root already this i have explained in the theory video first video theory there i have explained you the characteristic features of binomial distribution the formula for mean is NP, standard deviation NPQ root. Mean is equal to NP, N is 1600, we got it here, and P is 0.8. So 1600 into 0 0.8, 1280 ships. The average number of ships which will arrive safely, average number of ships which will arrive safely is 1280. Out of a total of 1600 ships, that is the mean value. <coughs> now standard deviation npq root so here p is 0.8 we got p value 0 0.8 so q is nothing but 1 minus p q is equal to 1 minus p so 1 minus 0 0.8 is 0 0.2 now we substitute standard deviation npq root so 1600 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.2 under root so after root we will get 16 ships this 16 ships is the standard deviation. So we got the mean value 280 ships and standard deviation 16 ships. That's all. Next is seventh problem. Ha. Bring out the fallacy, if any, in the following statement. The mean of a binomial distribution is 15 and its standard deviation is 5. One statement is given. The mean of a binomial distribution is 15 and the standard deviation of the binomial distribution is 5. This statement is true or false. We have to prove. That's all. Bring out the fallacy means is it true or false. 
we have to check the statement. The statement is the mean of a binomial distribution is 15 and its standard deviation is 5. According to binomial distribution, the formula for mean is NP. And the formula for standard deviation is NPQ root. So mean is given in the problem 15. So NP is equal to 15. And standard deviation NPQ root that is given in the problem as 5. So NPQ root 5. Now we will square. We want to remove this under root. In order to remove this root, I am squaring both the sides. LHS NPQ root square is equal to RHS 5, 5 square. 5 square means 25. Root NPQ square. When we square, the root will go away. By squaring, the root will go. So this root will go away. NPQ is equal to 25. So how much is NP? Already we have 15. So in place of NP, I am writing 15Q is equal to 25. So Q is equal to 25 divided by 15. Here LHS 15 into Q. So if I take this 15 to RHS, this 15 will become denominator. So 25 by 15, you will get 1.67. So we got Q value 1.67. Actually, what is Q? The probability of failure. P is the probability of success. Q is the probability of failure. And always the probability should never exceed 1. The probability will be 1 or less. It will never be more than 1. Here Q value we got 1.67. It is not possible. That means the statement this 15 biomedical distribution mean is 15. Standard deviation is 5 is wrong. Because by using this statement, we are getting Q value 1.67. The value of Q should never exceed 1. So, the value of P and Q should never exceed 1. But here we got 1.67, which will never happen. So, the given statement mean 15, standard deviation 5 is incorrect or false. That's it. Next, 8th row. The mean of a binomial distribution is 20. And the standard deviation is 4. Calculate NPQ. So here according to binomial distribution mean value is given as 20 and standard deviation is given as 4. Mean 20, standard deviation 4. NPQ we have to find out. So according to binomial distribution mean formula is NP, standard deviation is NPQ root. So how much is the mean value given? 20. So NP is equal to 20. And the standard deviation is 4. So NPQ root is equal to 4. Again, we square LHS and RHS. So if we square this NPQ under root, the root will go away. So NPQ is equal to 4 square. 4 square means 16. That means we have squared the LHS and RHS. RHS when we square, it will become 16. LHS when we square, the root will go away, NPQ is equal to 16. So NP is 20. So in place of NP, I am writing 20Q is equal to 16. Q is equal to 16 by 20.8. So we got one value, Q value, point it. P is equal to 1 minus Q. Because P plus Q is equal to 1. P plus Q is equal to 1. So Q is equal to 1 minus P or P is equal to 1 minus Q. So here P is equal to 1 minus Q. 1 minus 0.8 is 0.2. So we got P value 0.2 and Q value 0.8. Finally, we need N value. So we find out NP, mean. What is the mean value here? 20. NP is equal to 20. Right? N we don't have. But P already we calculated P is equal to 0.2. So n into 0.2 is equal to 20. So n is equal to take this 0.2 to RHS. So here there is multiplication. It will become division. So 20 divided by 0.2, you will get n is equal to 100. So finally, we got all the three values n, p, q. So here we got p, 0.2, q, 0.8 and n is equal to 100. That's it. Ha, so in this video, four more problems I have completed, that is 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video. So if you are satisfied, give a like to the video. 
Share my channel among your groups, among your friend circles so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments. And lastly, subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed my channel so far, by the super thanks which is given below my video. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video.